shouldn't go down there. It's evil. Kay's Cross has been a local legend for generations. Many old timers in Kaysville still refuse to talk about it, but whisper that it's haunted. A lot of people say they've for sure seen werewolves down here. They've seen the cross glow if it's a uh, full moon, and if you touch it, it burns you. We've had people show up as non-believers and went home praying. That's a lot of times where we'll find people doing their seances or whatever. We have had people come out and do animal sacrifices on the cross. It kind of disturbed me. I was actually walking through. There was a big bonfire. They had robes on. They were chanting. This was actually this last year. Oh my God, dude. Dude, somebody has been here. Okay, it's turning right here, right at the witching hour. We're gonna be over there. We gotta go. We heard it from behind me. No oh, 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 way. Burial. Burial. Oh, look, 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 look. Uh, all the way. The one in the middle. It's getting closer, I know. Hold dude. Hold on. Oh my God, man. Over the years, the cross has attracted the curious and also terrified them. Tonight on The Paranormal Files, we're here in what some would say is the most haunted forest in America, Kay's Hollow. Right to my left is Kay's Cross itself. This is a demolished artifact of a long gone cult. Now, people have seen everything out here from skinwalkers to werewolves, and the guy that we just interviewed who actually lives here on the property has come across a number of satanic cults and weird people doing rituals out here in the woods, including a group of about 20 people that he found just last year in the woods right over there in the middle of the night. This place is known to be dark, and it's known to some people to be evil. Welcome to the Paranormal Files. So we're rolling up right now to Kay's Cross and Kay's Hollow. We're way out in the middle of nowhere. It's a uh, very strange feeling out here because you kind of go from Salt Lake City out to this area really quickly. And yeah, this place is known to be so goddamn haunted that <laughs> it's crazy that we're actually here right now. But Kay's Cross, baby. Everybody likes a ghost story, right? So tonight we're going to tell you not one, but several. They all come from one place, still somewhat isolated, in the Davis County community of Kaysville. Down an old dirt road, past the cemetery, in a hollow in the woods, is Kaysville's spookin' place. Kay's Cross, as it's called, a stone cross almost 15 feet high with the letter K carved on two sides. Hey, what's up? I'm Paul. We're at the location, uh, the property site that has Kay's Cross, and that's what we're going to head towards. Is the area around Kay's Cross referred to as Kay's Hollow? Yeah. Yeah, some people call it Kay's Hollow. Uh, if you look on maps, it might pop up as Kay's Hollow, but most people around here call it Kay's Cross. And this is a pretty spooky place. Yes. We've had people show up here that show up as non-believers, and they went home praying. <laughs> oh, that's what we like to hear, okay. man. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, let's do this. First interesting story uh, about this place and this orchard right here that we're walking through. One of the old residents of this place actually told us a story where they were picking apples with their their dog. They were in the tree picking up picking all these things. Their dog started going crazy. He said it was like you no know, hair sticking up, all this crazy stuff. Couldn't see anything, so they climbed down out of their tree, and dog was still going crazy, going back and forth, growling. It's actually right down that uh, that row of trees there. So they picked up their crates, turned around, they saw a, a cloaked figure, however tall. They said they froze there for however long. They said it felt like forever. And they said they're not sure what what it was, but they... <laughs> yeah, he wants to be interviewed. <laughs> yeah, uh, started walking backwards, staring at the guy, they couldn't... Uh, they said they couldn't take their eyes off them and uh, when they got they're not sure how far away they got away from them, and it shot like started running towards them or coming towards them really fast they said they screamed uh, dropped everything and they ran back to their house brought the cops out uh, called them out and they couldn't uh, couldn't find anything uh, they brought the dogs out trying to find find everything the dogs were just going up up a bunch of trees trying to 
a, my so name. a cloaked figure cloaked chasing figure. people down. Yeah, in this orchard here. Down this, which yeah. row? This first one? Yeah, this one right here. Because this used to be a main trail that they used, but it kind of got washed out. So it's not a main road roadway right now. Yeah, so up here towards the top is where they said they were picking some, some of their apples. And that's where that whole incident happened. Shit, we're only like 10 feet in, 10 man. 10 feet in, I know, there's a lot. <laughs> we just started. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is the... This is friendly. Yeah, friendly pig. <laughs> you can pet him. His name's Elliot. He comes to say hi. <laughs> hey, buddy. Aww. Aww. Yeah, he'll walk up to anybody he sees. Hey, you. He wanders around this whole property. That's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> kind of feel bad for having bacon this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> so these guys are dwarf cows. Um, these are full grown. Right <laughs> They're so cute too. Should we close it or all will be out? <laughs> right. <laughs> Lots of wildlife already. Right. You're gonna be coming oh, over. look, look who followed us. Aww. He might be with us the entire way. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> I love that. So, are you, are you gonna become a vegetarian? I have to think about that. <laughs> uh, so, this area here, burnt down house. There's several times where uh, the kids on this property will have heard some people up here, whether it be kids or. <laughs> Um, they, a lot of times they said they hear them playing up here. There's been a couple times that even I've come up here been like trying to figure out what's going on because you'd hear people. Um, we go in there because that's a lot of times where we'll find uh, people doing their seances or whatever. In and, where? In the basement oh, of this. He's my leg. <laughs> <laughs> in the basement of this uh, house that burnt down however many years ago. Uh, some of the older locals say that it had burned down with a young boy and a girl in there. And a lot of times that's what the kids say they hear is uh, kids playing. Really? And no, yeah. so no one really knows the story behind the fire? No one really knows uh, what happened. Um, but they, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, he's just trying to say hi. Yeah, hey, exactly. buddy. Look at you got my pants all dirty. Oh, no, I know. I Come on, man. These are new look at, pants. Look at this right here. <laughs> yes, so um, it's a mystery, basically. Yeah, a lot of people have come out in this area and they've um, said they've heard either kids playing or something in there and they've investigated, went down, and couldn't see anything, couldn't find anything. And this is where seance is? One of the places. What, what, can you talk, talk about that? What you've seen or like found? So in here, we've only seen like teenagers kind of exploring. Uh, they bring like, they bring out their Ouija boards, kind of just messing around type deal. Uh, further down, uh, some of these other sites aren't gonna be showing you guys. Uh, there's a lot more serious people that come, come out and do things. Interesting. <laughs> He's a friendly guy. Can I, uh... <coughs> found a lot of people in these two sections here uh, just trying out there mm. yeah. I have a weird feeling yeah yeah we've had people uh, come in here and come out sick we've had people I don't know a lot of different things happen to them uh, coming through these different areas and then on top of that the children's spirits yeah from possibly a house fire in this area We've had multiple people uh, catch on their phones someone on that chair. There's been some people say they've they've seen it rocking, even though it's not in very good shape. Several people have seen that. <laughs> that chair. That chair right there. You gotta say that is a creepy ass chair too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. it's like it could be a prop in a haunted house, but it's real. Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> Is he the only one? Yeah. Okay. Pretty interesting. We've actually found a car 
So we were kind of burning out old trees that were kind of becoming a fire hazard, just falling all over the place. And there was a car that the tree grew through. You can't really see much of it right now, but if you go up there, there's pieces of it. Wow. I thought that was interesting. So that car's been there a long time. Yeah. <laughs> long enough for a tree to grow through it. It's crazy. But since this is here, we'll stop by this place. So well area. We do find a lot of people actually. Most people actually just come here and try and take bricks off of the well. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of people do uh, any seances around this area. Mainly just trying to take a piece um, as a souvenir home. A lot of people in this area say that they capture the voice of a, a younger boy and an older man uh, to hang around this spot, this filled area here. They don't know if it's the same one that they see up at the house mm -hmm. or anything. Um, yeah. <laughs> you attack the bag? <laughs> yeah, you push it up. <laughs> Buddy. So why the caution tape? Um, so you don't, that's supposed to keep you from going in. There's a knife down there. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff. We'll we'll find people sleeping down in here. So I see a knife. Is that wood? A bone. a bone. Yeah. I have a bone down there. Um, What's the craziest thing you found in here? Uh, people. <laughs> really? You people found a person uh, in here? People sleeping in there. Oh my gosh! Really? That's yeah. crazy. Do you see that though, dude? A knife. Where's there's a where's the knife? Yes, yeah, so you got a knife. Uh, you got a bone. Glass. Mm. And people actually sleep in there. Yeah, we've got quite a few people trying to stay in there. <laughs> well, a lot of times it's usually because they were dared to. Oh, this is an amazing place. So a lot of people uh, going up to the cross, uh, different points, even just on this trail, even though we're not gonna see much other than trees and trail. Uh, we've had people say they felt different things, kind of like a barrier, but it's different, usually different area for different people, different groups. Really? Yeah. So this area is kind of where it starts to get really weird. Yeah. So this way takes us right up to super cool looking like old delivery truck. And oh, that is creepy. Yeah, you can climb up in there if you want. But. So I think we talked about this off camera. Can I ask? Uh, where would this have come from? This here? Yeah. Um, we don't know exactly where it came from, but we we guess uh, that it came from the cult that was kind of going through this area, uh, the 20s or 30s. The cult that actually built the, built the cross, and we think that they left it behind. Either they use it to deliver their food or supplies or something. Huh. Uh, can you open this? Yeah, yeah you can pull it open. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we found... So we haven't found people in this one, but we've found, like, dummies wrapped up in garbage bags, so it looked like somebody was in there. Um, yeah. Dummies wrapped in garbage bags? Yeah, so it looks like a, a dead person just laying in there. It freaked, freaked a couple people out. Um, yeah. Who would be leaving that? <laughs> I'm not sure. That's so crazy. I'm still trying to find my gate. <laughs> gate 89. Yeah, just got a flight to catch. <laughs> I'm lost. Ooh. Paul's trying to help me. What, what would this oh. be? Um, looks like somebody's camping. Uh, we find these every now and then. Sorry, it's kind of used. I'm used to these. <laughs> um, but we'll find uh, old campsites. We found tents. 
Um, we don't find people in tents very often anymore, which is nice, but every now and then we'll find a campfire. That's kind of spooky, dude. I mean, would this be like semi-fresh because of the rain today? Uh, it does look like it with it still being kind of gray, but yeah, you just find all sorts of things burning there. So. so would this be someone like living out here or? Um, we come through here pretty often, so I hope they're not living out here. <laughs> but you guys didn't create this. No, we didn't, no. <laughs> Crazy, dude. We'll probably find a couple more of these. Wow. Okay. Mystery grows. Yeah. This is just right here. Yeah. He's like, okay. Very chill. <laughs> I'm like, wow, dude, that's crazy. Well, like, you, you know, you can't trespass and stuff, you know, it's like, yeah. sounds like you don't really have a hard enforcement. Uh, we try to. Uh, some yeah. days it's just so much that we've been out here like two, three in the morning, some nights, and yeah. we've had the cops out here hanging out with us all night long, just getting a bunch of people out. Wow. Okay. Okay. Pretty interesting. So this right here, and this bridge specifically, we've had people, as soon as they cross, they drop down. All sorts of weird things happen. Uh, you can, you know, see for yourselves, see if anything happens to you guys. But we've had people drop down to the ground, thrown up, all this crazy stuff. And the cross is right, right past there. So I'll see if you feel anything. Or... Yeah. So this tree right here is a tree, uh, got its name, uh, was it two or three years ago, we had had a guy come out here, he ended up um, hanging himself from the tree. Really? A little bit, yeah, a little morbid, but uh, we ended up coming out, uh, the police came out, they actually ended up having to cut that branch down, because people were saying that there was other, other people wanting to come out and do the same thing and kind of replicate it. And so we had we had them come out and just take it down. So which branch was it, if you don't mind me asking? <clears throat> so if you look up here, they'd climb up on this Y, and it was kind of this one that's like four inches, not very big. They put it right, oh, sure. right inside, right on the inside. And yeah, that, this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right, right on the Y where it comes out, where you see that it's cut really close to the. Yeah, yeah. Strangely enough, it wasn't one of the people who run the property that found him. It was some people that actually run through here in the mornings that found him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so one of just one of the locals coming through here found him. All right, so I guess let's talk about Kay's Cross and the history. Yeah, Kay's Cross. Uh, you can still see the K on there. These are the cross member, uh, I guess the cross arms. <laughs> Uh, this used to be about, was it 15 to 20 feet tall when it stood on this base? The original story, um, there's a man named Penn Kovic. He claimed to be the second coming of Christ. And he came out here, started making, getting a gathering to follow him and to, to build this cross. Uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of speculation, uh, whether it was for him or, I'm um, yeah, not sure what the K stands for. Some say it was knowledge or Kovic his last name, but if you talk to the older folks around this neighborhood, uh, they they think it's um, for knowledge. Surprising, hmm. interesting, so. He ended up being run out of town because he started getting a little little frisky with other other families, wives. He was trying to add them to his own, his own family. They, he actually left with them. And wow. He went off to California, I believe, and the husbands, I actually tracked him down and they, I don't know if they either bombed his house or burned it down within a minute. We just watched story it, that yeah, was they like bombed, it. bombed it with dynamite. Or dynamite. Right. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's how he died. Trying and to then, take other families. Yeah. And this was blown up. Yeah, so this was blown up in 92. Uh, there was a lot of people actually were scared of the cross because of the the group of people that kind of, Penn Kovic kind of 
uh, brought, or brought here and they settled around Kaysville. A lot of people said they would always hear like howling or all this crazy stuff down in the hollow and every time they'd come down they couldn't find anything. And so they don't know, no one knows exactly who blew it up. Some say it was the police to stop them having to come out here. Some say it was just, I know there's a story of maybe some kids came out here and blew it up to hopefully get rid of the the spirits or whatever is hanging out around it. And basically that. This is like a, a, this is a stone cross, right? Yeah. So I mean, for kids, if you will, to come and blow it up, I mean, what would they, they'd have to have some they'd have powerful. To have some serious stuff, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like dynamite, yeah. you know? Yeah, you would think. I would say, look, I mean, this is like solid rock. Yeah, it was a solid rock, not sure. My guess is it was some adults, not sure which adults, <laughs> whether it be the police or just other ones to try to stop everything from happening here. If you stand on the base, you can get a clear shot of that K there. Uh, it's still there, um, most of it anyway. Oh, right here? Yeah. I'm trying to picture it. So the best, you're looking at it backwards, you have the back and then the... So the this was the, the, these were the arms of the cross? Yeah. But that's the top. Wow. Wow. Those yeah. are the top huge! Yeah. I thought, that's I guess that didn't translate that's to like... me that that, I thought that was the yeah, it's vertical. Feet, no. wow. Yeah, these are just the arms. So, right. so people, did people use the cross to do the same over here? Or I thought I heard something about that. Or, to do the same as well? To take it to end their life. Uh, we haven't had any confirmed cases yeah. of people doing that on the cross. Okay. We have had people come out and do animal sacrifices on the cross. Pretty creepy walking up on that when you hear stuff. We've come out here and they were like sacrificing birds. Yeah, pretty creepy stuff. So what would happen when you walk up to them? I mean, what do you say or do? I... Um, first thing we do is we just call the police and have them come out and be like, yeah, we're gonna stay back. We don't wanna get sucked into that. Mm -hmm. We don't know what they're gonna do. <laughs> and so we just call the police, have them come out and they usually apprehend them. But you've actually physically walked up on people sacrificing stuff here. Yes. You've seen it with your eyes. Multiple times. And what was it like? Like, were they doing something or? Um, it's different every time. They're, we've had groups of people doing some chant uh, as they're like pulling pieces off of these animals. Uh, we've had people, it sounded like they're partying while they're doing this, just have it all spread out in, in the middle of them. And probably the the creepiest thing for sure would be uh, back in this area, not actually at the cross. Um, there's another clearing I can show you guys. Yeah, you wanna walk down there before yeah. we talk about it? <laughs> I wanna... yeah. yeah, do it. Me too. Yeah, we've had people even say that they got burned laying on the cross. They've had crazy markings on them, <laughs> uh, getting back to their place. So, um, you can see there's cords on that go through this path, because we try to have, like when you do that uh, haunted forest, walk through type deal. We go through this area. We try to have them come to here because this is probably one of the more active areas now. Um, a couple years ago it was at the cross, but we've seen more and more people come back to this clearing here. And I guess there's another fire. <laughs> another oh. fire place. Um, yeah. Wow. So, just to clarify this on video, you're just finding this for the first time? Yeah, this is a new one for me today. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. I wonder if people could be like doing rituals still. Even they doing fires, you know? <laughs> they could be. So this was actually my, it probably was the most creepy to me. It kind of disturbed me. Um, <clears throat> I was actually walking through this back trail because we thought I heard people talking and when we got down here there was a big bonfire um, wasn't like super tall but there was like enough really bright people standing around it 
but they had their like robes on they didn't have hoods on but they had robes on and they were chanting and that freaked me out that was with that many people it was probably the my worst experience there <laughs> how long ago was yeah. that this was actually this last within the last year really yeah and did you ever find out who they were we didn't uh, we called the police had them come out um, like we usually do but none of we didn't figure out any of their names talking about um, like you mentioned skinwalkers werewolves can you kind of explain what people have seen um, yeah we've heard different people say they've seen they've seen skinwalkers usually um, they say it's down by the, the house area where we've already gone through and between the house and that well area I haven't personally seen any of any werewolves or or skinwalkers myself but we have had a lot of people say that they've seen those. Werewolves and dogmen? Yeah, which is kind of strange. Couldn't uh, confirm any of that, but I have heard people tell me that they've seen dogmen um, kind of just walking through that area. I don't, I don't know quite how to explain. I can show you where, but... I by the well? By the well area, um, but it's usually on that, that hill area, the steps, because it kind of goes in like giant steps up the hill. Mm hmm and yeah pretty creepy stuff <laughs> yeah this is creepy out here i mean and, i think it's it's creepy but it's actually really a cool area i mean all yeah. the just all the visual stuff for me is cool you know and all the sounds yeah the cows the little what's the little guy again the elliot yeah, elliot, elliot the pig it's <laughs> just like a whole different feel I've ever I've never really been to a place like this no me either so yeah yeah we've had some people who come out here kind of doing their own investigation one of the guys in their group actually laid down on the cross and later they actually said that they've had upside down crosses burned on his upper back which was I thought was pretty interesting and just down the hill in this kind of thicket area right there they've you've seen several groups see the same like tall figure and we actually had one group come out where they was like yeah we're non-believers we don't believe in anything and they was out here for maybe two out of their four or five hours that they had scheduled they left running uh, out to their vehicle and they felt like they had to pray and I thought that was interesting that they they left feeling like they needed to pray to where nothing followed them home where in the beginning they were very adamant that they were non-believers <laughs> so this place makes people believers yeah. <laughs> wow. But you'd say this place is haunted? I would say there's definitely something out here. Um, whether it be haunted, it's different experiences uh, each time uh, for different people. Um, and so, yes, it could be. It does, yeah, it does freak me out, so very well could be. <laughs> Any yeah. other deaths? Um, the only other confirmed one that's within the last probably five to seven years is there's actually another up in the orchard that we walked through to get here. Um, one of the old residents of the houses down on the one-way road, he, I don't know his backstory, but they said they heard a gunshot, went out and they found him just at one of the trees. Wow, I wonder yeah. why people choose this place. It could be, I know they, they could be drawn to it from all the other stuff that Mm -hmm. happens but it's yeah. private too you yeah. know you're alone down here most of the time most of the time <laughs> most of the time you are um, yeah we're not usually coming down here and we do come down here fairly often but it's not we don't like patrol it closely so so we're basically on our own yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's kind of part of the appeal to me is that it seems really kind of secluded well Anything left to say? Any final words? Um, not about the tour. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I think that's about, that's everything. Cool. Yeah. That I'm was good. That was awesome.
Okay, everybody, so we're here in Kay's Hollow. We're right next to Kay's Cross. I wanna give a big shout out to Paul and his family for letting us film here. If you guys don't know, here in Utah, they actually do a haunted house attraction here at Kay's Cross. You can go to kayscross.com. Trust me, this place is like a gold mine for paranormal, and I couldn't imagine how scary it would be if it was a haunted house. And that's kayscross.com. Right now, we're here. Let me tell you guys, it's so eerie like the cults, the werewolves, the house burning down. No one knows if people died. The cross that's right here. Already we've had REM pod activity. We've had different sounds that we've heard. It's getting extremely spooky and we haven't even started investigating yet. But as y'all know, we give away a gift bag every single week here on the channel. So if you wanna be entered to win this week's gift bag giveaway, it's super simple. Make sure you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and comment, I love Kay's cross below. I'm gonna give y'all 10 seconds to do that. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, once again, that's I love Kay's Cross in the comment section. Every single comment helps, every like helps. Guys, we're so close to 700,000 subscribers. Uh, Jeff and I cannot thank you all enough for how much we love you and for how much you all have done for us. So it's a blessing and a curse, I guess, to be out here in Kay's Hollow tonight. This place is truly one of the most freaky places that I think I've ever been to in my life. And we've got everything set up behind me. Mr. J-Dog himself. That's me. How are you feeling tonight? Well, um, it's, uh, it'd be nice to see the trek that we took to get back here. It's a really a great place for how compact it is and how many things are here. Case Cross, the well, the, the burnt house. It's obviously a creepy forest. I'm just excited to kind of see what we kind of start feeling here, right? Especially by the cross and also this tree behind us where someone had lost their life, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm just... But yeah, we had, uh, um, you'll see it on film, trek tracking through the cow pies, and the cattle and our little pig Elliot and this, my snout on my pants uh, pushing against me is pretty funny but yeah it's gonna be I think a, I think it's gonna be a charge night I'm ready to go yeah and we're really way out here like right now we are out way far in the middle of the woods like we're like straight up just in the middle of the forest um, right here in the vortex area there's the bridge behind us We've got a static camera set up right down there, right here. This is Kay's Cross, as you saw in the interview. And we have these little static meters. But we've got those set up. We also have these two uh, cross-shaped static sensors because mm -hmm. we're here at Kay's Cross. Remember, this is the actual ruin of the gigantic cross that was demolished, built by a cult rumored that a farmer murdered his family members, buried them around here, and hanged himself off of the cross. That's one of the urban legends. This is kind of the apex of the paranormal here. We also have tonight another brand new device that we just got. Jeff, if you want to show it? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah. This is a touch sensor. I don't know if you can pick that up. Yep. I'm going to turn these on. But with touch, these things change colors. So we're going to experiment with this and see if Whatever's here can manipulate this and, and change some of these colors. The f mm. okay, that was weird. Okay. I was just messing yep. with that for like 10 minutes. Yeah. I, that didn't mm. happen. Okay, I'm just going to turn okay. these on. To finish all of it out here, I'm going to turn the music box on. Yeah. Got the paralite, and then yeah. over here, our other static camera with the two oh, rem. Oh, 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 it's just oh. turning on. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was on. Our other static camera. This is where the REM pods were already going off. So, Jeff? Okay, did you hear that? Yeah, that static was shooting that. Hello? Branch or twig? Yeah, that sounded, that was really loud. Uh, footsteps almost or movement <laughs> right when we were ending our monologue here oh yeah use a box dude 
Music box just went off. Are you here right now on the cross? The music box. Okay, if you are here on the cross. Okay, so, oh my God, dude, I have chills yeah, I actually immediately, man. Okay, so if that is you here on the cross, can you touch one of the white lights? Oh my God, dude. You just heard movement? Yes. Oh, what are the what lights? What are the lights, dude? What okay. are the lights? Here, I'm gonna come back. Oh my God. Holy shit, man. How is that possible? Okay, okay guys. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what is that, dude? Okay, so just to explain to everybody, Jeff has the FLIR camera right now. <gasps> Look at that, dude. Oh my God. Right when I took the attention off of it. Oh my God, dude. It's standing right here, man. Can you show yourself on this device? Show up, please. Dude, this this thing going off means that there's someone there's someone standing right here or presence. Also, I didn't even get to finish explaining. I just showed you guys how this works. Something just tapped one of those lights and turned it red. It's weird that it's on red and I have the red light on my camera. I'm going to show it on here. You can see it turning on here. What we're trying to do, if you see it here, okay, right there. So we're, it's pointing this way. Okay, it's turning right here, pointing right into this area. So I'm trying to see if we pick up anything right in here where the little crosshair is at. If it shows up. What the hell? Oh. Looks like no behind us. Right us. here, dude, behind us. Yeah, I want you to film on the IR camera so I can do Just scanning to see if we pick up any bodies at all, any kind of a body. Heat signature. Okay, we're gonna reset this. Thank you. There's something f***ing stalking us here, okay. dude. It's over here. And look at this, man. What's the deal with this? Can you touch something else right here? He's right here. That's right where the they said they saw oh, that shadow right. figure. Uh, just down the hill in this kind of thicket area right there, several groups see the same like tall figure. You're right. Dude, look at this thing. This was just on all last night and it didn't go off once. 
I'm gonna reset this too. Can you show up, please? I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Sure. Is there anybody here in Kay's Hollow? If you can hear. If, it's in that corner, dude. If you can hear my voice, I want you to follow my voice. My name is Colin. I'm here with my dad. I'm Jeff. And we just want to talk to you tonight. Whether you're the spirit of someone who took their own life, you're a skinwalker, a werewolf, a dog man, you're the, a member of the cult, or maybe you're a living person who's in a cult. Come talk to us. I think I'm gonna go IR and put this down. Jeez, that sounds kind of close. Come on down. I'd like to see that REM pod go off again. You, oh, dude, the one, oh, in, the middle, the one in the middle, dude. Oh, shit. Fucking Christ. Oh, the different yeah. one, man. Yes. I literally uh, have not even. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, okay so the one, I just reset the one right that. here. Dude, that's, it moved. I'm it likes the red. What the heck? That's actually crazy because that's a different one now. Well, hold on. I'm going to show this okay. with this. Okay. Check that out, guys. Different light now. And this one's red. This one's in the very middle. And I just reset this on camera. Y'all saw that. The paralyte just went up one bar. Oh, the paralyte. Anything in the woods. You're welcome to come out. We're, we're, we're friendly. A werewolf, dog man, skinwalker. We've been told many people have seen you. We, we just want to see you. Kind of I'm like, free, man. That was a big knock on the wood. Okay. Or a rock if, if thrown. I know. You know. Or a rock. If you heard me, if you if you heard me, thank you for knocking on that wood or throwing that rock. But could you do it again? Let us know you're here. Oh, behind you, dude, the EVP. Really? EV, where, where, or REM pod, REM pod. Really? Yeah, that static just picked that up. Wow. Okay, so the, the, the far REM pod? No, the little one. Really? Closest to us. That one's really tough to have go off. Yeah. Have you come over to us? Come on down like you did before and touch these lights. Again, if you're a werewolf, a dog man, skinwalker, We've heard you all exist here. Show us. Show yourself, please. We want to show people that you do indeed exist. What the f is that? Hold on, look out, look out. Okay, hold on. God, it's like they're responding like Oh my god, man. It's like, maybe they're... Maybe that was it's getting closer, I know. Hold dude. Hold on, hold on. Okay, if that's you... Yeah, hold on. We're going to stand our ground if you want to come down to the trail in front of us. We're, we're, we're not here to harm you. We're here to just show you exist. Oh, I saw a little light out in the, in the trees. I don't know if this picked that up or not. I've got, again, the same headache I get, but a weird one. It's kind of a different one. This, this is like, this, what the f*** is that? It's up there. Dude, is there like Bigfoot around here? That's what I was thinking. It sounds like something's throwing that, rocks and, and, at us. That, and remember the, 
um, the sound. Yes. In the beginning, I'm like, uh-huh. what is that sound? Uh-huh. When you play it back, you'll have to really magnify that. Yeah. Okay, so I forgot again. We hear you. Again, if you're a dog man, skinwalker, if you're Bigfoot, anybody, anything, if you're an alien, I don't care who you are, we're friendly, we just want to show you exist. Keep coming down. There's a trail right down here. Come and stand in front of this camera where I'm showing you. It really feels to me like somebody's getting closer. Yeah. Every time the noises are closer. And those are not like an animal running. It's like rocks being yeah, thrown. Yeah, I think it sounds like wood. I think it sounds like rocks hitting the trees. Yeah. Somebody throwing or, something. Or a um No, I think that's what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say a tree knocked over and hitting a tree. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's coming from up this hill. Right here. This is where, remember, he what? said... Oh, yeah, right shadow, over here. The tall shadow That's figure right. is seen right there. What? I kind of feel calm if it's, it's coming. It was over here. Uh-huh. That noise we had. I think it, and it, there might be more than one. Okay, if you're over here, can you follow the sound of my voice? Up here. If you walk towards the sound of our voice, we can, we can see you. Maybe if you took your own life in this tree, or maybe you have something to do with the cross. Please come towards us. Or maybe You're down here. Maybe you're the spirit of the man. Oh, Jesus. That's scary. I forgot the REM pod was right there. Yeah, well, my new one. Where are you in this forest? You wanted somebody? You wanted a sacrifice? We're right here. I don't want to be sacrificed. Yeah, I do have a wife, so I don't also... I I just want to see you. Take that back. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> let's just okay right when I say that like yeah. 30 cult yeah. members come yeah, out no, we're we waiting don't want for to be you to say that <clears throat> I think I'm going to try again uh, there might be a different thing here than there is behind us mm-hmm. but you know again we're here oh dude the third light the third light dude the third one man oh my god what the hell what would that mean, though? I don't. I don't it's know. moving down, dude. But for why? It's something's touching it. I just reset that on camera again. Okay, put put it. I can't see it here. So whole unedited clip, dude. Put, whole unedited clip. I can put, post. Oh, put your um light. Or I I can't see it on mine. <sighs> oh, it's shit. red too, dude. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> it's Holy touched shit. all three of them now. What's the deal with? If you have been here touching this device, 
Thank you, first of all. Oh, my hair is so curly. Like I said, all you have to do is touch those white lights. Can you go up to that red light and those white lights and touch them one more time? Because you have touched the others. I would love to see you change the color. I think we're going to have to get to a point too where we start doing some quiet stuff, right? Yeah, let's just listen for a sec. I just want to see if it does it. Leaves behind you. Oh God! Wow, I, oh. I feel I feel really creepy. Oh! Right when you said it, you I, said I, behind I, I, me. I, I had it. I got it on here, dude. Right when you right said when behind I said it, me. The the green. Oh, I'm feeling like again. I'm feeling like my body's charged again. Why don't you ask for time? <sighs> okay, did you? If you set that green light off just now, I got you on camera. You can you can tell it's not. It doesn't harm you. Can you do it again for me, please? Any of these devices? If you're here, a spirit, touch that red light, please. Show us that you, you, you exist. We got it on the static cam as well. Oh yeah. What is that tapping? I feel something over there. Do you want to walk over there? Once you do spirit talking. Okay. Let's get that set up. Here it is. So we're gonna do a spirit talker session right now. You guys have probably seen this app. It's uh. Oh, I feel creepy. Basically, this app is like an ovulus. So if there's anybody here with us, you can use your voice and uh, oh, one of those just flickered. What did? The, the statics, yeah. the red. What about? Film that, film that. Okay. The red. Right when you were talking. Mm -hmm. This just doesn't, sh you know, that bright, that white light's so bright on here. Oh, I keep seeing like a light flicker out of the side of my vision. Me too. I'm gonna reset this too. Gosh, that takes a lot to change that. Wow, it's crazy. If there is anybody out here, all you have to do is speak. And if you're a good spirit, we'd love to talk to you. If you're a bad spirit, we'd still love to talk to you. Hopefully we can hear your voice. Who are you? Can you tell us who you are? Adult. Adult. Okay. Yeah. Adult. So you're an adult. A human? Are you a human spirit? Could you tell us if you're a human or not? Or your name? I heard it from behind me, bud. Oh, I, I heard it from behind me. Okay. I heard it from Burial. There. Burial. Oh, yeah. There's the people that were buried oh. here. Oh. It was the gruesome scene where a man murdered his seven wives, buried them around the cross, and then hung himself from a nearby tree. There was a farmer that killed his wife here, buried her heart in the cross. The seven adults that were buried Ooh. here. I heard a scream. Remember? Just now? George. George! Oh, okay. George, oh, 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 your oh, name. Let me see it. See it. Oh, what's adult your name? George. George. Dude. Burial. George is buried here. Oh. Or an adult who, the guy who. Right here. 
This one. Oh. We gotta find out. Oh, what if that were actually? Oh my god. That'd be. I'm getting like shivers. I'm chilled. I actually Jeez. have chills. Okay, George. Thank you. So we're speaking with an adult named George who's buried somewhere here. Can you tell us how you died? What happened to you? How did you end up buried out here? Oh, the arm pod just went off. Oh, okay, yes. and I, I'm sure I, we caught it on here. I think I caught it here and, and on, on the static. And on the static. Okay, so it's responding. Okay, George, thank you for coming through. Once again, can you tell us what happened to you? How did you end up here? And it would be really cool, George, thank you for talking, if you could touch one of those lights again and turn them red like you've done three times. What happened to you, George? Oh, I felt just a chill. Is this a good place, George? Or is Kay's Cross a bad place? I have this pain in my back all of a sudden. Hit. Hit. Right when I said I have a pain in my back, yeah. hit. Mm. Did you hit me in my back? That's weird. Did you hit me or are you saying you were Tears. hit? Tears. This is a bad place. Well, oh, something happened right here. So, right there. That's I mean, creepy my other things, about. if there's, well, it, the idea is that if they're buried around here, you know, If you're the one that, I'm, I, I'm sorry if it is you that are the one that ended your life here, what did you use to end your life if it is you? It's okay to tell us. Threat. 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 Is there a threat to us here? Can you tell us what the threat is? Are you trying to protect us? I've like all of a sudden been able to, so I'm able to see a lot better. How Thank about you? you? It's gotten lighter. I feel like a lot of the energy is left. Almost. I'm still around. Oh, oh no way! Oh. No way! I'm still around. Thank you. Okay. That's what? why we gotta stick. We gotta stick with it, Colin, a little bit. That's crazy, man. Okay, if you're still around and you're saying threat, what what does that mean? We're a threat to you or you're a threat to us? Give us a word that might make sense. Or words. I heard that. Explore. Explore. Okay, well, that's what we're doing. I'm I mean, still around, but it wants us to explore, mm. to find the threat, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe they're saying it's a threat if we explore. There's a threat waiting for us. Okay, are you saying that there's evil or a threat somewhere else around us that you're, you're warning us? Lucy. Lucy. Lucifer, mm -hmm. the cross. But if I'm still around, it's Lucy. If it's George yet, and you're, are you saying that Lucy is a threat to us around here? That she, that she's still here? Are you still Rempod. here? Rempod, really? Miracle. A oh, miracle. Oh, miracle. What the heck? I don't. I'm a little confused on that. On, Okay, George, if this is you we're talking to and you're still around and you're saying Lucy is a threat, what is the threat to us? Did you mean that Lucy is Satan, the devil, with all the devil worship that's been done right here on top of this cross? Use your energy for this and go through. Kid. Kid. 
Would Lucy be a kid? No. I heard some movement over there. Hey, George, if Lucy is the threat and Lucy is a kid, what would be the threat? Oh, my shoulder just started to hurt. Oh. I did too. Dang. Ugh. It's like somebody pinched my neck around there. Don't go. Don't go. Okay. They're warning us about a threat somewhere else here, man. Mm, Don't that, go. That makes more sense. Stay here, near the cross mm -hmm. even. Lucy. Okay, so once again, you're warning us. Why? What are you warning us about? What's the threat? If it says a bear, I'm f***ing heading out. <laughs> that would be freaky. Oh, yeah. Lucy? She's dangerous. She's dangerous. Oh, my God, dude. Lucy is dangerous, dude. Oh, oh man, I'm feeling again charged again. Don't go explore because oh, Lucy's waiting. She's dangerous. Dude, what? I'm telling you, man, I think that's something satanic, dude. Lucy, Lucifer, all of the devil worship that's been done here on this this cross. A, a kid, know. demons always appear as kids, too. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to ask a question. Is Lucy really a kid or is Lucy a demon? Drain. 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 Lucy will drain our energy, drain our batteries. Maybe that's the threat. What the f Yo. Oh, it's raining. Oh my god. We gotta grab our shit. Uh oh. Terrified. Terrified. Cover the stuff. Let's do this. You heard me. You heard me. What? It just said you oh, heard no. me. Oh no. Where is it? Where is it? Where'd it go? Okay, it stopped already. The rain. Okay, we did hear you. Use camera. Use oh, camera? Man, what? Right when we're putting our shit away. George, I still have this camera on. Just tell me who Lucy is and why she's dangerous. We're gonna go explore. Who's Lucy? Draining. Draining again. Again, yeah, I don't get. Weird, Something draining is... and raining. Draining our batteries, man. This is. Both, my phone died immediately when we got here. Isn't that kind of weird though? Stay put, man. It said draining and it's raining. Oh. Go forward. Go uh, yeah. forward? I'm telling you that. I just was telling you. Okay. Well. I want to interact over here. Okay. <laughs> right when we said we're going to leave, too. Okay. Did you want me over here? Draining. Draining again? What? Three times now it said drain. Draining and draining. What does that mean? Are you trying to drain our energy? Do you want to drain our life force? Don't move. Don't move. Don't move, it said. Why shouldn't I move? I was conjured. I was conjured. Oh my god. Right here. Oh my god. Maybe it's it's tricking us, dude. Whatever's here could be telling me. It wants to drain me. I was conjured, Lucy. I mean, the, all the all, a ton of rituals happen right there. Adventure. Adventure. <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure to be attacked. Hate. Hate. It's filled with hate. It said hate. Yes. Whatever this thing is, doesn't like people. Beware of Lucy. Hate. Can you tell me? Are you down here? What the f 
dog man? I know, I'm just thinking that. What the hell? Something's something's making the dogs bark down there, dude. Creepy, man. It's coming towards us. Okay, we're gonna move to a different part of the of the hollow. Do you have anything left to say, George? Why should we be careful of Lucy? Can you tell me that? Back. Back? Maybe she was the one hurting our backs. Yeah. I have this pain in my back all of a sudden. Or you want us to go back? You don't want us to go to the circle. Oh. I'm hearing a ton of noise from down here. All right, everybody. So Jeff and I are gonna head over there to the clearing. We're gonna do an Estes session. We've already been here two hours plus. Yeah, it's just about to hit midnight in three minutes. So right at the witching hour, we're gonna be over there. Are you ready? I am ready, bud. And I just wanna document all this stuff. We're leaving all this stuff here. Those lights are off, Paralite. We've got all this stuff over here. We've got a static camera right here. Okay. God, it is creepy back here, man. If you're here, show yourself. Should we do the Estes? Hey, what's calm? Don't think about it like I'm like, remember, what's out at night for birds? I don't know. Remember birds at night are a sign of the devil. Remember you have that? That's an old, that's an old legend. Hearing yeah. birds at night means that the devil's around. And we just heard birds. Okay. Okay, what should we... I think something's rolling in, dude. We honestly, we will be really, really screwed. Basically what I have here is divination dice. So you cast these dice. Oh, shit. And you see if you can spell a word out of it. Let's just try it once and then we can wrap oh, up. Jesus. If there's anybody here at K's Cross? Can you spell out a word? Dude, it's gonna pour. Uh, we're, we're gonna ruin your equipment. Let's just go. Okay, I'm telling you. The clouds are a lot darker. God damn. Shit. We gotta somehow get this cameras in underneath some cover somehow. Oh, oh. oh what? No, the lights! What? Lights are on! Oh fuck, dude, it's raining like crazy, dude. We gotta go. Film, do you have it filmed? Yes, yes, yes. What's it it's filmed on? It's right here, I got it. But I just left. And the, and the paralyte just went off. Okay, dude. And I just wanna document all this stuff. We're leaving all this stuff here. Those lights are off, paralyte. What? The lights are on! Oh fuck, dude, it's raining like crazy, dude. We gotta go. Film, do you have it filmed? Yes, yes, yes. What's it it's filmed boring. on? It's right here, I got it. But I just left, and the, and the Paralyte just went off. Okay, dude, the Paralyte just went off again, too. Paralyte's going off. Look at that. What? The Paralyte is going off. Oh, f Jesus. That just, the battery's about to die. All right, everybody, so we're having to dip out quick because there is a massive thunderstorm rolling in, and since we have like thousands of dollars worth of equipment that we rolled in through the mud. We're gonna have to call this early. You can see the rain is coming in. But thank you to whoever's here. If you're attached to Kay's Cross, stay here. Thank you so much for talking with us. And this episode's not over yet, but. You know, I was gonna tell you that that uh, truck reminded me of. What? Horror story. American Horror Story? Yeah, yeah I was gonna say that too, yeah. Twisty. I think we're going here, but... Yo, yo, yo. Look at the fucking fire. Look. Somebody's been here. What what would this oh. be? Um looks like somebody's camping 
Uh, we find these every now and then. Sorry, it's kind of used. I'm used to these. <laughs> Dude, somebody has been here. Look at this. Check the interview footage. Someone has put a bunch of rocks in here. Is there somebody here? <laughs> A popped balloon. What? Yo, the well. Yo, should we do an Estes really quick? I think we should, man, because the rain kind of cleared up a tiny bit. Okay, everybody, so we actually we packed up in a hurry and the thunderstorm is still above, but there's a little bit of, little bit of a rest in the rain right now. So we're gonna do our Estes method session right here at the notorious haunted well. Now, keep in mind there's a knife in the well, there's a bone, Sorry. there's a lot of weird stuff that random people who visited this property have dropped down in there. So I'm curious to see who may be hanging out around here. Also got a REM pod and these two cross sensors. To anybody here at the well, my name is Colin. I'm Jeff. And we just want to talk to you really quick. You can use your voice and speak to us and we'll be able to hear what you have to say. You ready? Okay, Colin, can you hear me? Okay, who's here, first of all? Tell me who's here, you, you, you know your name. The first person that wants to I talk. I can't. Why? It's inside the well. Okay. Literally, dude, it's inside the well. Your name? Then what would be your name inside the well? Is it written on the wall? Say your name then. Adventures. Weird that we got the word adventure. Behind you. Okay. Three of them. Okay, who's one of the three then? Give me a name, I want a name. I've been here. Yeah, but I want a name. If you're truly talking to us, you can easily tell me your name. Any of you guys. Jones. Jones, okay. I'll go with that. One more. Okay, tell me it. They all know me. Okay, who it is it? I'm sorry. No, who is it? One more, Jones and who? Come on, Jones and who? I'm the editor here. Okay, but, but the, what's your name? You're skirting the issue, Jones and who? Who's with you, Jones? Lisa. Lisa? Okay. Oh man, there's some major lightning over here. Lisa, Jones and Lisa. It doesn't matter. Hmm, I was just gonna ask why you're here. Okay. Um, do you know that you're dead? I did it myself. Oh, okay. You, so you took your life, how how did you do it? Tell me how. Who cares? We do, honestly. We're sorry it happened, but... I'm amped up. Okay, was it drugs? You left us. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's go back and ask you though. How did you die? Was it... We're all here. Okay. Who, who's, who's, to, can I, I smell something really bad. Who's going to step forward to talk to me? Pick somebody. Tell me who it is. Look to your right. Okay, I don't see anything, but again, can you tell you me? You should have. I did. What's over there? The beast. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. There's a person there on a regular schedule. Okay, I don't see anybody. Are they, do they live in your spirit world? Are they dead? Is the beast and the person? Beauty. Beauty and the beast? Oh, oh I, have, I have a headache. Good. 
No, it's not good. I have a headache. Come what? back to the bridge. Okay. Well, we're not gonna. Oh, something about uh, a knife. Okay, so let's start back. And who uh, am I? Ta who am I talking to? There seems to be a lot of you, but one of you need to to step forward. Who have you chosen to talk to us? Helen's mom. Helen's mom. Okay. Helen. She's Seventy-five. Okay. So why are you here, Helen's mom? Shouldn't you have crossed over already? No, nope. Okay, do you know that you're dead? I'm floating. Okay. Whoa. So you should cross over, okay? That means go to this the light. This is related to the cross. Okay. So. Stay. Okay, everybody we're talking to, do you realize that you're not alive? You have passed away. Do you understand that? Do you guys understand? You are not alive here on this war on this earth. Turn around. See? Down. The fence. Up. Okay, no, I'm not gonna keep doing this. You're it's an emergency. Oh shit. Um, the rain's coming. Dude, the rain is coming and it's it's getting dark over there and lightning. It's coming this way and it's starting oh, to pick up. And we're gonna be, all the blue's oh, off. Look, 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 look. Uh, all the way, all the way. Dude, it told me to look, look, and then look, look down. Turn around. See? Down. Dude, zoom in on it all the way oh, to the top. Oh, it's glowing even brighter. Oh, it's flashing. Dude, over here is flashing. Okay, we gotta go, dude. It's oh my God. Come the on. cross, dude. We have to go. The cross, man. Because we're gonna get swamped. That's crazy. It, you told me to look, uh, look, to the, look to, look there to the right, and then looked up, looked and looked down. And I, oh. I, and I said, I said, no, I'm done looking. Look at that. There it and is. There it is. There it is. The it's still first on. time it's lit up. Okay. Oh, oh dude. Oh shit. Careful with the barbed wire. Are you okay? Jesus. Did you really cut yourself? I don't know. It'd just be a poke, you know. I think we just can't leave this in place. I know. We gotta let the cows get out. Oh, oh dude, I, we gotta go. <laughs> just go. There's the house. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Hey, Hold on. it's our friend. See you guys. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. So we're soaked in rain. We actually did make it back to the car. Here's Jeff. Oh my God, dude. We got, we got cow crap all over our shoes, our suitcase. <laughs> Yeah, that Soaked was a lot. Equipment. <laughs> yeah, uh, everything we have is covered in mud and had a great water. episode. Yeah, I'm glad we did the episode. Estes at the end and the cross lit up at the very wow, end. Wow, that was crazy. Weird. And the lightning and thunder. Something was supercharging, but yeah, with cameras, and, gear, we uh, just can't stay back there, man. Well, you can even see some of the rain on the We're lens. still 45 <laughs> minutes away from home, and it's, you know, we've been here three and a half hours to, on the investigation. <laughs> Yeah, so we love y'all and uh, you know what? I can't good see. investigation. I can't see if this is all open or a pole. There you go, everybody. There it is. Oh, oh the lightning. Bus is right in there.
Hello. 